Hi Haskellings, day 17 is something of a physics simulation. First, let's parse the input, and as you probably know by now, I like using parsers a lot. So we're going to use a parser for this simple single line input file. We read in all the integers with our AOC integer parser, as well as all the expected surrounding text, and then manually run parse using interact prime to read the input as one line. However, our integer parser cannot yet read in negative numbers, so let's make a new parser, integer prime, that can. It's going to set s to negative 1 if we get a minus sign, and 1 otherwise. Then read in the integer, and multiply them together. Next up, we need a step function that's going to perform one step of our simulation, then use recursion to keep going until we're either past the square or on it. This function will take in all the physical parameters, and our current max y value, and first check if the new values are past the square in the x direction, and past it in the y direction with a negative velocity, or no longer moving in the x direction. We're going to return nothing in that case, Otherwise we check for success, and return the maximum y value wrapped in adjust. Lastly, we need to do the recursive step with the new values, and then calculate the new values according to the puzzle specifications. We also potentially need to update the max y value. Now that we've done that, we need to make a list of the starting values, and we use 0, 0 for x and y, and min bound for max y. Then we choose vx and vy to be between 1 and double x2, because we can reasonably say that if the velocity is more than that, then we'll be past the box on the first step. Let's map step over that, and have a look at what we get. And there's a lot of nothings there, so let's use map maybe to filter them out. And then all we have to do is find the maximum of those values, and we're good. I guess there must have been a better way to do part 1, because for us, part 2 is just a matter of taking the length of our list, and we're done. But that's not correct, and I guess that's because our starting range of values for vy is not right. It was a guess that double x2 was enough, so let's try 1 to 1000 in each dimension. And that's not changed our results. Um, I've also neglected the potential that vy can start off negative, and that gives us a lot more results. So I think that should be the right answer. Happy Haskelling everyone!